Okay, exam question walk through. So we've done two standard form questions. Let's do one on converting to base unit and see how we get on with this now. So we may be asked in an exam to convert to base value. And look at this question here, to convert the following number to its base value. Right, okay. So why do we convert numbers to base value, first of all? We convert numbers to base value because we need numbers in their base value in order to do our calculations. So we cannot use such things as what we're looking at here. We're looking at here. We're looking at 100 milliamps. We can't use milliamps in our calculation. We can only use the base value, which in this case, for this particular question, is amps. So amps is the base value of this. So we're looking at 100 milliamps and we're being asked to convert this into amps. So what we really want to know is how much is 100 milliamps in amps? Right, okay. So let's split it off down here. So looking at this table, which we've got in the PowerPoints here, if I show you this now, this table here is in the PowerPoint that I've created for you guys. And this first middle section here with the main ones on is actually in your on-site guide on the first page on the inside cover. So we know from this one, looking at this, milli is equal to minus three, 10 to the minus three. So let's write this out down here. So milli equals minus three. Now minus three is also equal to dividing by a thousand. So let's look at this now. We've got two ways we can do this, haven't we? So let's try and convert this number then down. There's two ways we can do it. So here we go. If we write this out as 100. Okay, so 100 milliamps. We know it's minus 3, so we can do this the manual way. And simply, if we had a decimal point here, which we usually would, we don't write that, but it is there. If we now move this decimal point three times, minus 1, 2, 3, our decimal point will be there. So our new value in amps is going to be 0 0.1 amps. Okay, perfect. Right, let's go down here. Let's do another way of doing this. We're still using the same thing, minus three, but we've just told each other, haven't we, that milli is equal to minus three, but minus three is the same as dividing by a thousand. So in order to turn 100 milliamps into amps, we can also do 100 divided by 1,000, and that's going to equal 0 0.1 amps. So it's exactly the same answer. So there's two ways of doing that. So let's recap on this. First of all, read your question. Convert the following number to its base value. So you won't always be, always be given a direct question like this, but believe me, in a, nearly every question you're given, you won't be given everything in its base value. They'll be expecting you to be able to convert that down to its base value first. So in this case, it's amps. So get yourself familiar with what the base value is of each unit. In this case, the base value of it is amps. And then we use this table, which we've got in the on-site guide, but it's really worth remembering these ones, these main ones, mega, kilo, milli, even micro and giga. Just remember what they are here, what the power of is. And then you can do these two ways of doing it. You can do the manual way, where we move the decimal point, however many times it states on the chart. So we've got milli is minus three, which we know here. So we move the decimal point, one, two, three. We've got 0 0.1 amps. The second way that we did this was by dividing our unit that we've got 100 milliamps by a thousand. Now why did we do it by a thousand? Because we know that milli is equal to minus three because of the chart that I've told you guys to memorize. And then minus three is equal to dividing by a thousand. So we did what we're given in the question, 100 milliamps divide by a thousand equals 0 0.1 amps. So just bear these in mind guys, you need to be able to know what these un what these powers are here. So kilo, for example, is 10 to the power of 3. Milli is minus 3. Just memorize these middle ones here from giga all the way to nano and you'll be absolutely fine. But like I said, they're in the on-site guide and then also be aware there's two ways of doing it. Okay?